to Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. Oh my god. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. <laughs> if a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000, six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan, and this is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. My mother, she made me really strong and she made me the person I am. My mom was just recently in a really bad accident where she almost lost her life. That scared me really bad and now I get a chance to show her that she raised one really good child. I have very weird anxieties, but I love to face my fears. I'm very scared of the dark. If Fear Factor puts me in like a dark room or a dark closet, it might help my anxieties. For $50,000, I think I can just hold it and not freak out. The great philosopher Socrates once said, know thyself. That's why I'm here. Fear Factor is a defying moment, and most defying moments are life-changing. I want to leave here with my head held high, and I want Joe Rogan to say to me, congratulations, evidently fear is not a factor for you. A lot of people back at home have confidence in me, but then there's some people that don't. I have a friend who's placing a bet against me, thinking that I'm gonna go out in the first round, actually. I hope he loses this bet. I know he's gonna lose this bet. I'm doing Fear Factor for one reason only. My brother passed away and he was a big fan of the show. I think when there's a challenge, I'll probably be hearing his voice in my head. There's nothing gonna stop me because I've got a mission. I was in and out of foster homes from the ages of 12 to 19. Going through an experience like that has made me a very mentally tough person. So when I win the 50 grand, I want to open up a group home, which is a place for foster kids to go when they're in between foster homes. What's up? How's everybody doing? Great. 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 All right. These six people have been brought here from all over the country for one reason, <laughs> to stare fear in the eye as you compete for $50,000. To win the money, you're gonna have to complete three extreme stunts. Stunts that'll not only test you physically, but mentally as well. If you are too afraid to attempt a stunt, you'll be eliminated. You try a stunt, but fail to complete it, you're gone. But if you do succeed, you move on to the next round and you are that much closer to the cash. Now, I guess you guys probably thought you'd be like hanging over a building today or yes. dangling from a helicopter, <laughs> but not this week. You guys are in for a very, very special treat. This is a unique episode of Fear Factor. Oh, you God. guys are on Gross Out Fear Factor. Oh. And it is comprised of three of the grossest, most disgusting stunts we could think of. Oh, God. <laughs> Your first stunt is going to be a very simple bobbing stunt. Sure. The two men oh, and the two women <laughs> that collect the most of these will move on to the next round. And here oh. is what you'll be bobbing in. Oh. What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> Cow's blood. Wow. I love blood. Oh. Wow. You will be bobbing for these. Are you serious? Oh, oh God. Oh. With our mouth? With your face, right? Yes, with your yeah. face. There's over 50 oh, gallons of cow's blood in there. So 
the two men and the two women that collect the most of these rings <laughs> oh my goodness. will move on to the next round. Now we have randomly selected who gets to go first, and Kelly, you are lucky number one. Yeah. Woohoo! You ready to do some bobbin and blood? Yes, yeah, I am. Freaking out? No. You're not? Nope. You're freaking out a little bit. Just wait until dunking your head in a big batch of blood. All right, Kelly, you're the first person to go, so you're setting the bar for the ladies. Remember, the two men and the two women that collect the most advance, the other people will be eliminated. So you have to remember, get as many as you can, because you know that Suzanne and Saida are waiting right after you to get more than you. You don't want to go through this and then go home. All right, you have two minutes from when I say go. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. One. Yeah. Two. Oh, get a taste, baby. Get a taste. Three. Four. Five. Six. She's getting oh. Nice. She's getting at it, though. She's at it. She's at it. Seven. Let's go, let's go! What are you cheering her off for, man? Eight. Nine. Go, Kelly. Come on. Go, come on. Oh, my God. Come on, come on. You got over a minute left. Ten. Come on, Kelly. Come on, let's move it. Oh Don't let it get eliminated. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, Eleven. Bring that freaking bell. Oh. Forty-five seconds. Come on, Kelly. Oh Wow! I can't even see your face. Let's just go, crap. let's go! <laughs> come on, Kelly. Dig in, get in there! 15 seconds, Kelly, come on! Shit. No. Three, two, one, time! Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Let's walk slowly. Blood was unbelievably cold, and at one point I couldn't feel the ring. My legs started shaking. The taste of the blood is like your own blood. It's thick and chunky. How was it? Horrible. You got 13. Do you think that's going to be enough? Yeah. You do? I think 13 is enough. Why is that? Because they're hard to find. You can't see anything. So you don't think they're going to be able to do any better than that? No. Is that the grossest thing you've ever done? Oh, God, yes. Well, if you move on to tomorrow, <laughs> oh my God. we'll be able to top it. All right, well, let's get you dried off. Congratulations. Thanks. Good job. Great. All right, Saida. Yes. How are you feeling? I'm good. Now, I understand you have a bunch of different phobias, right? Yes. What are your phobias? Like the boogeyman, like being in the dark by myself or being in the street by myself or running by myself in the dark. Know what's gonna happen after this? You're gonna be haunted by anemic cows. No, I am not. <laughs> the ghosts of anemic cows. Oh, stop it! Saida, <laughs> 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 you know exactly what you have to do? You have two minutes, and you have to get 13 or more if you want to advance, yep. okay? Are you ready? Yep. In three, two, one, go! One. Don't quit. Get back in there. Get in there, kid. Come on. There's over 50 gallons of cow's blood in there. The two men and the two women that collect the most of these rings will move on to the next round. You have two minutes, and you have to get 13 or more if you want to advance. Are you ready? Yep. Go. One. Oh. Come on! Two. Oh, Kelly, how's it look on the other side? Oh. Pretty nasty! Come on, girl! Come on, side up! Side up! Go, go, side up! Freaking, man. She's freaking. Don't quit! Holy crap. Three. Come on, don't quit! Get back in there! Come on, side up! Four. There's a next movie idea right here. Don't quit! Get back in there! Horror show, man. Oh, Come on, side up! Oh, man. Hey, come on, Sida, don't quit! Oh, don't get in there, get in there! This is so hard! Seven! Come on, Sida, get in! Keep going! 
One minute left. Eight. Eight. Let's do it. Nine. That's two. Ten. Come on, keep going. You got one minute left. Yes. Wow. Come on, Sider. Keep going. Go, go, go. Twelve. Come on, Sider. Go, go, go. Oh, come on. Thirteen. What's oh, time? What's time? On. What's time? Fourteen. Fifteen. Stop. Sixteen. Five. Four. Three. Two. You can stop. 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 You can stop. Okay. She beat me. Nasty. Oh. Your official oh. count was 17. While I was in the blood, my anxieties came into play. And every time I put my head in there, it was like a mouth full of blood that I drank. I couldn't hear, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't see. It was really, really bad. You gotta help knowing that you moved on to the next round. Oh, yes. All right, Kelly is on the bubble. Yes. And Suzanne is ready to party. How are you Absolutely. feeling? Great. Now, are you a squeamish person? No. Not at all? Not at all. No? You're not afraid of gross things? No. Oh, give it up. Oh, please. I had to give something to trash talk about it. Right. Right. What's the matter? Yeah, What's the what matter? That's why she's cool. saying it's too much talk. Too much talk? Yes. Well, why do you say, come on, she's allowed Get to express herself. Look at you two, catty little girls. <laughs> Want to say bye-bye to Kelly? All right, Suzanne, you know exactly what you have to do. You have two minutes. If you get 13 or more, you move on to the next round. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. You can't do it, guys! You can't do it! Oh, 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 Come on, Suzanne. Oh, look, look at she's gone. rattling that. Time. Yes. Come on, Suzanne. Two. You got it, kid. You got it, kid. Three. It's Go for it. Go home. Four. That's it. Five. Yeah. Go home. Come on. Girl. Come on. Six. You suck. Come on. You can't find any more. You're drinking oh, all the time. Oh, she's in it. Seven. Hey, go, 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 go. Come on, kid. You got it. Nine. Ten. She got two. 11. As soon as she beats 13, Kelly goes home. Oh, man. Oh, man, no. 12. Oh, it's over. Oh. It's 13. Oh. Oh. 14. Kelly. Kelly. Bye. You suck. You can stop. Oh. Congratulations. Ah. Woo. It was disgusting. It was thick. And it was in my teeth, and it was like gritty. I could feel it in my mouth. I will remember sticking my head in blood for the rest of my life. You all right? I'm quite all right. Well, it's a bloody shame, but we have to send you packing. A bloody shame it is. Bye, kids. Take it easy. I dunked my head in disgusting cow's blood for nothing. Personally, I think fear is a factor for me because that was totally traumatizing. Suzanne, congratulations. Congratulations to you two, Sida. Thank you. You guys both move on to the next round. All right, Joseph, is this freaking you out at all? No, not at all. No? Not at all. No, I actually grew up on a farm. What do you do for a living now? You're not a farmer anymore? No, nah, I just pretty much model for a living. You model for a living? Yeah. Well, you, you're all worried about for. ruining your new sneakers, man? No, nah, I'm not really stressing about the shoes. You're not stressing? I like them, but you're know, saying, hold blood? on, let me just, oh, can I do so this? Oh. Can I do this? You have two minutes time. Oh, God. And remember, the guy with the lowest score will be eliminated today. All right, Joseph, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. That's so sick, so nasty. You got so one. Disgusting. You got two. Who's the supermodel now? Oh, you lost it. You had one. You got three. Come on, man. Come on, keep it up. You got four. Five! How many have you got? Go quick, you can do it! Seven! Seven! Oh. Come on, Joseph, let's go! Come on, man, you gotta pick up the pace! Oh, hey! You got the breath. You missed another one. Nine! 
A minute left. One minute left. Dang. A minute? Got a long time. Ten. You lost another one. Come on, man. You gotta go. You got ten. Man. 14, awesome. 15, you got two on that one. Woo! 16, 17, whoa, you got a bunch of that one. Five, four, three, two, one, time! On the buzzer! Dang! All right, bro. Woo! Official count is 19. Woo! Bobbing for anything has always been a little bit difficult for me. I was never really good at bobbing for apples at the circus. I was moving too fast and I knew I needed to slow down, which is what I did about halfway through. It wasn't a problem with the blood, it was just definitely a problem with trying to get as many rings as I could in the time. Oh, your shoes look fantastic. You think you did enough? I think I could have done better, but... There was a couple you dropped. Yeah. That might come back to haunt you. Yeah. We'll find out. Jelani? Hey, I'm ready, 100%. I was born ready. What makes you ready? Yeah, and it looks like Kool-Aid. I grew up on Kool-Aid. <laughs> you grew up on Kool-Aid? I don't know yeah. what your mother put in the Kool-Aid, but you need to talk to her. <laughs> if you beat 19, you will automatically move on to the next round. You have two minutes. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go! Oh, oh. He's gonna do that. We got one. Come on. Yeah! Oh, two. Come on. He's moving kind of slow. Three, four, come on, man, you gotta move. Five, there you go. Six, come on, faster. Ten. Seven. Oh, you lost it. Get in there. Eight. Come on, man, come on. Nine, come on, move, move. You do it. Ten. Come on, bro, get in there, get in there! We all help you, bro. 11, 12! This is a nice person. One minute left! 13, 13, you can do it, come on, move! Does that go by that fast in there, that two minutes? Yes. 14, come on, go, go, go! Go, go, go! 15! Get a headache at all? 16! Huge headache. You had a headache? Huge headache. 17! 18! Come on, man! Good job, bro. Good job. Good job. Good job. The two things that helped me get through the event, Joe go, 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 go. and the thoughts of my brother. You moved into the second round. Congratulations. That's cool. This guy seems pretty worked up, man. He seems a little crazy. I saw you outside. You were talking to yourself in the side of your mirror. What are you doing? Psyching yourself up? It's a story that goes back to my football coach, and he said, little eyes upon you, you know, little kids watching you all the time, and the man in the glass. You go home, you look yourself in the mirror when you're done, and you say, good job, that's what I want to do. You go home and you can't look at yourself, I don't want that, man. All right, well, you're going to be looking at yourself in the mirror with a big, fat face full of blood. What's <laughs> going to happen now? Are you going to send Joseph home? I'm going to do my best, buddy. I can't put my head in there and then go home and have people say, man, you did that for nothing. All right, Joshua, you ready? Ready. You beat 19, Joseph goes home, and you move on. In three, two, one, go! Come on, man! Don't you quit! Get in there! Don't quit! Come on! Come on, man, you gotta move! I told you he's gonna get two wings. <laughs> go in, man, get at least one. Wow. And uh, no. What? Oh. You think you got too psyched up? <laughs> it's freaking out, man. Oh, it's gonna be a long ride home, brother. <laughs> a long ride home. That's all I'm saying. Two! Oh. Come on, you got a lot more to go! Go! Get in there! Go! He can't breathe. He can't breathe. Oh, that's terrible. Just Joshua, it. come on! You can still do it! Go! Go! Yeah! Don't quit! Don't you quit! Get in there! This guy 
guys make me nervous. He's making me nervous too. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm <laughs> What are you doing? Oh my god. This is like an episode of The Incredible Hulk. Come on, bro. What happened? You were so amped up, you were so ready for this. But I got in there, man, I couldn't freaking get the thing out of my mouth. I put my face down in the freaking, I hit the bottom, couldn't grab the ring. I you just couldn't get kept, it. You kept popping out and screaming. <laughs> Do you think maybe you got a little too pumped up? Maybe? No, I, I, I because I went in there easy, man. I, I kept telling myself, don't get, you know, don't go in there too fast because you're gonna move all the rings around. They're gonna move back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> Well done. I'm all for you. That's freaking great. You guys did a great job. Thanks, man. Jeez. Thank you. All respect, man. I waited so long to be on this show and hey! I'm very sorry. You're gonna you're gonna have to look at yourself in the mirror and deal with this. It's very nice hey. meeting you. Thanks sorry, a lot, man. man. I had a great time. Send you a packet. Take time. it easy. The stunt in itself was the toughest thing I've ever done, mentally and physically. Everything about it was wrong. I didn't know how to do it. The walk of shame was terrible. I didn't want to go through that door. All right, well, we're going to have to take shoelaces and sharp objects away from Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> congratulations. Uh, I'm sure you guys are all excited. The good news is you move on to the next round. Woo! The bad news is you guys are on the gross show. So if you thought Woo! today was bad, tomorrow you're going to be begging to stick your head in cold bring it blood. On, bring it on. Yeah. Bring it on. All right, yeah. you ready? Let's get out of here and see what we have in store Go. for you next. Come on. My biggest fear was to be on a girl's out fear fact and here I am. I'm really worried about what's going to happen today because Joe told us if you think this is bad, wait until tomorrow and that really worries me. I have a little bit more strength, more speed, more agility than Suzanne and I'm hoping to use that but I've noticed with fear fact it doesn't matter who's larger, who's smaller, it just depends on strategy, positioning, the way you work the event. I'm one of the guys, I just have the body of a chick. Guys don't bother me. I just see them as another person to beat. I'm gonna have to drive myself a little bit harder than I did yesterday. Yeah, I love gross stuff. Anything that sets me apart makes me unique. That's what I wanna do. I'm 90% sure we're gonna eat something on the next stunt, especially with this being the grossed out fear factor. I'm just gonna walk up and see what it is and then do it. What's up? What's up? Hi there. How was the bloodbath? Did you enjoy it? Great, wonderful. Good yeah. for my skin. Good for the skin? Good for the skin. You feel like it's rejuvenated? Oh yeah. The four of you have completed what is easily one of the most disgusting stunts ever shown on television. But remember, this is the gross show, so that is only step one. All right. Ready for step two? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Those are tomato hornworms. Big, fat, thick, and juicy. Cream yeah, filling, right? Are. The good news is you get to eat them. Right. That's what I want. Great. Right. The bad news is they taste nothing like tomatoes. Okay. Here's how it's going to work. You guys will use this blowgun to shoot darts at that stack of tomatoes. The tomatoes are numbered 0, 3, 4, and 5. Whatever numbers you come up with will represent the amount of tomato hornworms you will have to eat. And we have randomly selected who gets to go first. And Jelani, you are lucky number one. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, of course. Well, come on over here, my man. Step up. You have two shots. Whatever numbers you come up with will represent the amount of tomato hornworms you have to eat. You cannot shoot the same tomato twice. Pick five. Hey, I'm aiming for the five. Oh, so I hit bro and get, and get three. 
That's a three. Okay, got one more shot. And that's a five. All right, Jelani, you have eight horn worms. You have 30 seconds for each worm, so you have four minutes to consume them. You have to eat them one at a time. Make sure you chew them up really well because there is a horn. Can you see it right there at the tip of it? Go. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh the spray. Oh, oh that, that was like a, that was just like poop. a tomato. That was like a cherry tomato. It is like, yeah, exactly. Oh, man, that can't be good. <laughs> you only have two and a half minutes left. Come on, you got to pick up the pace. Oh, oh. Oh. Come on, man. Oh, oh nice. So wow. Nice. Oh. oh. Is it a tongue ring? Oh, no! oh. God, you had to ask. Oh. 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 I think he's okay. You're all right. Oh. One minute for the final worm. Come on, man. Get it. Come on. Come on check the chill pill. Come on. He's not going to lose. He's all right. Yeah. You worried about him? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That went even further than the... Launch, baby. <laughs> 30 seconds ah. left. Done. Congratulations. Woo! Jelani, welcome to the finals. That's what I'm talking wow, about. Good. They taste like lima beans, man. On the first bite exploded in my mouth. It tasted really nasty. There was a single point that I did feel like throwing up because there was so much juice I was swallowing. Saida? Hi. Are you ready? Yes. Come on over, my friend. <laughs> Is that the throw up? Uh, yes, that's a throw bucket? up bucket. Okay. We so got that, that just for you. We've already Thank that you. out. All right, remember, you have two shots. Okay. All right, you cannot hit the same tomato twice, and whatever numbers you come up with, we'll add them up, and that will mean the amount of tomato horn worms you'll have to eat. <laughs> four. Four. Okay, you got a four. Wow. Is that bad? You mad? Oh. It's not a five. <laughs> five. All right, Saida, you have nine worms. You have four and a half minutes to consume them. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Set, go. Oh, my God. Oh. The dirt makes the poop go down easier. Oh, that was sick. Oh, oh. oh. oh she's, oh, oh. she's gagging. Don't. Come on, oh. keep it together. <laughs> you guys will use this blowgun to shoot darts at that stack of tomatoes. Whatever numbers you come up with will represent the amount of tomato hornworms you will have to eat. You have nine worms. You have four and a half minutes to consume them. Go. Oh. Oh. oh, she's oh, oh. she's gagging. Don't come on, oh. keep it together, keep it together. Come on, Sida. You're all right. Oh no 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 no, you're okay. Sida, you're gonna be all right. Keep it together. You can Calm feel yourself. right in the back of your throat. Calm down. Shut up, okay? Calm really down. bad. Shut up. I'm Calm telling down. you. Sida, li listen. Don't talk Gagging to him. Don't pay on. attention to him. I didn't like the idea of eating something live. The third or fourth one, I started feeling the gross taste of it. And I just wanted to puke. Two minutes left. You're oh, fine. No, no, no. Last one. Come on, keep it together. Oh, Don't want to lose it now. Oh. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're that much closer to $50,000. Oh. Ta-da! Oh. Very good. Way to go, kid. Good job. Good oh. job. How was that? Disgusting. Absolutely. Yeah? Oh, you're crying. When you bite it, all the poop is squirting inside of my mouth. Yeah. Yep. Can I throw up? No. You want to throw up now? Oh, wait. Sure, here you go. Hold on, bro. I'm not holding it. Like I know. <laughs> wow, that's a man. Ugh. So oh, it doesn't God. taste anything like lima beans. Oh, it tastes like poop, too. Congratulations. Thank you were in you. the finals. And Suzanne, you are next. How are you feeling? Great. Now, you don't get grossed out by anything. Mm -mm. How come? What's up with that? Uh, my childhood, we ate whatever we could find that was dead. We were poor. Yeah. Wow. We used to take it and put it on the ground and step on it so my brothers wouldn't eat it. And what? then I would eat it. Yeah. Oh we were really poor. God. Where did this you stuff grow doesn't up? bother me. Any shack we could find that would let us live there. Oh wow! Seriously. Did you ever eat like any roadkill or anything? You know, Not like literal or roadkill, but there was a couple times my parents came home and they're like, "No, no, it's just dirt. We swear." I think she's what are you full to say? of it. I don't think she grew up eating anything. That doesn't hurt your heart. No. All right, you have two shots. 
All right, that's a five. Another five. 10 tomato hornworms and five minutes to eat them. All right, Susanna, you ready? Yep. Go. Poop is in your mouth right now, and you have no idea how disgusting it is. You gotta chew it and chew it and chew it. It's really nasty. You can feel the poop now, can't you? Oh my god, you're gonna throw it out right now. Oh, put it out, girl. Come on. Come on. Oh, please. Oh, I told you. She can do it. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a poop line in your lip. Oh, no. She licked the poop on her lip. It's really. Oh, you're. Oh, my God. She's eaten six of them in a minute. I put a few of the worms in my mouth backwards, and I would bite into them, and then the poop would squirt down my throat, and that would make me gag. This is it. Last one. Oh, you can't do it. You can't do it. No, you can't she's do fine. It. You That's can't do 10 it. in under two minutes. You want to throw up now? A record setting pace. I don't need to throw up like you, I'm fine. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, All right. Thank you. Well, Suzanne, congratulations. You were in the finals. What's the most disgusting thing you've ever eaten? Little caterpillars in the Little caterpillars? Yeah, I would. I mean, I'm not looking forward to this. Go right ahead. Give it up. Boof. Five. Five. All right, here we go. Boof. And another five. That's ten. It's ten. You have <laughs> 30 seconds for each one, so that's five minutes for ten. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Poop all over it. Oh. That is disgusting. Oh. oh, man, you got to chew it longer than that. The poop is right. going. Oh, my God. If he gets through this, everyone's moving on. Oh, oh my He's God. Get it. No, he can't do chew it. Chew and swallow, bro. Are the bigger ones were so much tastier than the smaller ones because the smaller ones just didn't have the juices to cover up the the texture. I mean, the small, tiny ones were just all texture and all, it was nasty, man. There's no question, it was nasty. Chew and swallow and that's it. I wanna show a clean tongue. Hold on, I'm, I'm a supermodel, I'm pretty. Exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> Hold on. Welcome to the finals. Right on. Good job. Good job to all of you. It what's was that? really nasty. It was really nasty? Yes. Yeah, wait till you see what's next. Because oh, wow. this is the gross show. And you have one more disgusting stunt remaining. So let's get the hell out of here and find out what we have in store for you next. Come on. Woo! I have a one in four chance of winning. That makes me a little nervous. I'm doing this for my brother. I feel him in my heart and I'm ready. I've won two out of three and I'm ready for the last one. My competitors think that I'm a little bit weak because I was nervous about the blood and I gagged through the worms, but you know what? I made it through and I'm just as good as them. I think Suzanne's a know-it-all and yeah, she's definitely getting on my nerves. She seems to know too much, but when she starts talking, nothing's factual. I really want to see Suzanne humbled tonight. Joseph doesn't tell the truth ever, so he has a hard time believing anybody else. He needs a lot of ego stroking, and, and if you don't give him an ego stroke, you are now his enemy, and he has to stroke his own ego, and you have to sit there and listen to it, whether you like it or not. Welcome to the final stunt of the Gross Show. What a fun week we've had, huh? Yes, right. yeah, you guys fun. have already bobbed in blood, chewed some juicy tomato hornworms. Now today, one of you is gonna walk away with $50,000. Smells like dead skunks, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, that's because this pitch black drainage ditch is filled with dead skunks that we scraped off the road. It's also filled with dead ends and wrong turns. Whoever collects three dead skunks and makes their way to the exit the fastest is gonna walk away with $50,000 today. You for real dead skunks? For real dead skunks. We have randomly selected who gets to go first, and Sida, you are lucky number one. Yep. How do you feel about skunks? <laughs> no words? You're claustrophobic too, right? Yes. Right. That's gonna suck for you. Yes. Yeah. Take off your jacket, get ready. I got some goggles for you. So have you gotten over your fear of claustrophobia? Uh, no. You gonna get over it now? Right now. No problem? No problem, that's my only chance in life. 
This is a sack you're gonna keep the dead skunks in. Okay. Once you get in there, okay. there's a bunch of different exits. Some okay. of them aren't real. If you find the wrong one, turn around and come back out. Okay. But whatever you do, make sure you get three dead skunks in this sack okay. before you exit. Here we go. In three, two, one, go! Whoever collects three dead skunks and makes their way to the exit the fastest is going to walk away with $50,000 today. Two, one, go! Remember, it's totally dark in there. Because of our night vision cameras, we can see her. The smell is unbelievable. And it's hard to tell which are the dead ends and which are the exits. It's cold. You can hear the water. She's got one. It was just dark and I couldn't see anything. I was touching the walls. I didn't know where I was. I think she's really scared. I think she's a head case, though, in there. That was her two fears, claustrophobia and afraid of the dark. This is... And she hates dead animals. This is so messed up. <laughs> You can hear her screaming from this spot. Oh, man. She just passed over a skunk. She missed it. I kept thinking that skunks were teddy bears to get me through that, because whenever I thought those were dead skunks, I really freaked out. That's two. Man, I hope you guys totally fail. I do. Well, I hope you fail, too, man. <laughs> All right, she's got her third skunk. Now all she has to do is get to the exit. Time! Three minutes and 40 seconds. Woohoo! I can't believe she's done this quick. All right, Saida, I'm gonna put some gloves on here and count up your dead skunks. Here's one. Oh. Number two. Number two. Ugh. Here's number three. Congratulations. Oh. Three dead skunks. How was it? Oh. Right when I got in there, it really stunk. And absolutely was the scariest thing I've ever done in my whole life. All right, side is time. It was three minutes and 40 seconds. All right, Jelani, you ready? I'm ready. The time to beat is three minutes and 40 seconds. You have to come out with three dead skunks. OK, remember, it's pitch black in there, but we have infrared cameras, so we'll be able to see you. Time to beat is 3 minutes and 40 seconds. You ready? Go. All right, he's got one skunk. All right, he's got his second skunk, but he can't find the opening for the bag. Can I hear it? All the water and everything? Wow. Oh, he's in a dead end. Looks like he's got his third skunk, but he's running out of time. Jelani, Yo! she beat your time. Come on out, man. Uh, oh, man, it stinks. All right, what happened, man? Talk me through it. The tunnel was pitch black. I fell into that water. That's when I really started getting kind of scared. The skunk smell was overwhelming. I tried to double back and go through the one tunnel that actually had a dead end. By that time, I heard Joe's voice. She beat your time. Well, Jelani, I'm very sorry. I'm out of here. But you're out of here. Uh, Woo! Nice meeting. Nice to meet you, dude. I may not have the $50,000. That's not why I came here. I came here for my brother. I think he's looking down at me, and he's proud of me. You two are the only ones left that could beat Sidus' time. You ready, Joseph? Let's do it. You're next. Come on over. Awesome. 
You have to get three dead skunks in there. You have to get out quicker than three minutes and 40 seconds, otherwise you're eliminated. You ready, Joseph? Let's go. Go! Got two skunks. He's in a rush. He was. He has to crawl. All he needs is one more. He's in the exit tube already. He's got the third skunk. Whoa! One minute forty-eight seconds. There's not three, you're eliminated. There's one. I counted them two. before I came out. There's three. Okay. Here's lucky number three, bro. Yeah. Congratulations, bro. Saida, your time was three minutes and 40 seconds. Yes. Joseph's time was one minute and 48 seconds. Oh my God. Sorry, kid. It's very nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Take care. Thank you. I overcame my fear of claustrophobia, the dead things around me, eating disgusting things. I just wanted to prove to myself that I could do it. Any words of advice for Suzanne before she goes in? Not a damn one. Suzanne? Didn't expect any from him. All right, you need to collect three dead skunks faster than one minute and 48 seconds. You do that, you're gonna win. Joseph and I are gonna be on the other side. You ready to do this? Yes. Go! for you. Only those with the guts. All right, let's do this. Win the glory. Fear Factor. Back-to-back -back episodes continue next, only on Schiller. Scare Tactics. Back-to-back -back episodes. Tomorrow, starting at 7, only on Chiller Scary Good. <laughs>